So guys, hope you guys had a, a great Christmas. Um, I'm back with the video because today I just had some bullshit. I just, I, I just want to make a little rant. Just a little rant video. That's some bullshit happened this morning. Motherfuckers had to wake up. I woke up like, really, realistically, I woke up like 6, 6.30, Got, you know, got up out my bed, got dropped, literally put this shit on. And like a jean jacket and then like a little black jacket, you know. And I had to go to this meeting. Now, the meeting was inspired by, basically, it was because I, 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 I most, it was most likely because of this. Now, my, I got tired brain. I didn't get all the sleep I could get. Obviously, I ended up falling asleep at 11 because I was a little nervous. I don't like confrontation, you know? So I was a little nervous the night before, you know, because it was kind of built up like in my own mind. I was like, what am I, what am I going to say to this bitch, you know? Like, ooh, because he telling me, yo, everything that you got to say, because I had like ran into him on text message and everything about he about what was going on with me and this other assistant manager he got. He's like, everything you got to say, say it at the, at the meeting. So like now in my mind, it's like, it's on. I'm like, okay, bitch. I'm going through the motions. I'm like, what I'm gonna say? I'm walking back and forth. I wrote bullet points in my notes, my nigga. I like, I'm ready, you know? But also, because I'm preparing myself so much, it's sort of like it's fight night or some shit. Uh, what I would imagine is like fight night, you know? And I, I'm making myself nervous. So I, my God, I go on Google. I fucking Google how to stay calm under pressure. It said to breathe. I took deep breaths. It said think about the positive outcomes. I thought about the positive outcomes. I'm like, I'm gonna get this bitch fired, you know? I'm I'm doing everything. I'm trying to do everything right. I end up falling asleep like 11 something. Make no 12 something actually. Woke up at like 6:30, 6:40. So I only got about five, six hours of sleep. Um, and I, you know, my brain isn't to its full capacity. I think I'm about maybe at like 60, 70 percent. Uh, maybe I'll get up to 80 percent at some point in time in the day. But I'm not at 100 percent nearly at all. Barry Scott, I don't care about your fucking new photo that you got on Facebook. Anywho, so now that all that's out the way, I go up there. We got a meeting at seven o'clock. They come in. They say, hey, everyone talk about issues that you might have with me or the manager. Uh, you know, just 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 let me know. And we'll go. We'll talk. To, we'll ask you one by one. So Candace, little big Barney looking ass. This big crusty ass bitch. This bitch is like six feet tall. I don't like Candace, bro. She the type of bitch like I. I be contemplating whether I'm gonna get this bitch jumped or something. You know what I mean? Like I be thinking about like, bro, should I just, should I just press the button, get this bitch jumped? And then I remember, man, I ain't got no pool like that. Who's gonna jump her? Me, nigga? Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know nobody. <laughs> but man, like you, you can't let me get in the mob. Don't let me get in the mob for the cartel, cause nigga, I will, I will. If you fuck with me, you don't wanna fuck with me. If I'm in the mob, nigga, cause I will most definitely, and I'll follow through on it. 100% if I work. That's all, that's all I'm saying. I would definitely use that pool and I would get your ass got. And you know what? No, I wouldn't get your ass killed. I'll just get you fucked up like bad and be like, hey, look, it's going to be worse next time if you keep this shit up. That's what I'll do. I'll be like, hey, look, if you tell anybody, shit, I might be in jail, but you're going to be six feet. <laughs> you feel? Okay, I'm being stupid. So, anyway. So, yeah, Candace, she like, she like, oh, April, that's the name of the manager, the assistant manager in name. Devonte, he's cool. We don't really have problems for the most part. He might start being on our ass a little bit more because he's starting to get tired of motherfuckers being lazy and shit. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I mean, I be getting lazy too. I mean, I ain't perfect. So, but um, April is the one that I had issues with. She don't know how to talk to people, bro. You know, like she just don't know how to talk to people. She rude as fuck. She'll just demand you to do shit, and that was a part of my problem. There's a bunch of things though, right? And Ken is like, I don't have a problem with you, April, first thing first. I don't know, you know. I'm gonna shut your ass up, bitch. So then the next person was like, uh, Antoine, Antoine. Antoine actually does have, he feels the exact same way about April's meat. But Antoine folded under pressure. He didn't want no confrontation. He didn't want no smoke. He ain't say nothing. Janessa didn't say nothing. And then they was about to go on me, and Devon was like, actually, we're gonna save you for last. My Keely got anything to say? My Keely was like, no, actually, I don't have any problems. So then he was like, all right, Jordan, you go to you. I was like, all right, shit. I was like, my issue is I feel like April is rude. She don't know how to talk to people, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then I start breaking it down. I'm not I'm not gonna get into everything because like, we don't got that much time in these videos, man. But just know, when, as I started going and I started talking, Candace starts chiming in. Candace, she does this thing. 
and I don't know why. The first time that she did it, it was in a group chat, the old group chat for the previous management that we have, because we have new management. Previous management, we had a group chat, and I I didn't even really say anything. It was the manager herself sent my own personal text messages that I sent to her directly into the group chat. She said, this is what Jordan said. So from here on out, da 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 and then Candace is in there talking shit about me based off this out of context one message that I had sent to her privately. That was the first time. But I didn't even notice that. So I went up to the store and I was damn near ready to quit. I'm like, what type of bullshit is this? How can she as the head manager decide that she wants to send my private messages into the fucking group chat? And now there's people in the group chat talking shit about me based off this one message that she sent that was out of context that they don't have the full context of the entire situation. And on top of that, of course, people are going to be biased, bro. Like two, two of the people in the group, two of the people in the group chat been with her the longest. One of them is dating her daughter. They're, they're, they're just going to be loyal to her. I just got there relative to them. Um, and then Candace is just... Can, Candace was just talking shit. I don't even understand. Candace liked me. I don't understand why Candace was talking shit about me. You know? So then I go up to the store. And I'm... I like... I thought... Uh, Antoinette or whatever. Oh, I don't even remember why I went up there, to be honest. But I went up there. I think I was, like, going to go, like, quit. Or, you know, check the schedule. I was going to go check the schedule, I think. Um... And I was talking, like, I was talking to Marcel, and I was telling him how I felt and everything, and how she bogus as hell, and all this, that, da, 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 da. And Candace is right there, and she starts chiming in. I'm not even talking to Candace. I'm talking to Marcel. And Candace starts chiming in. And I'm like, Candace, shut the fuck up. She said, no, they can't call me Candace. I'm not talking to you, bro. Like, shut your ass up, G. Like, nobody fucking likes you, you fat-ass bitch. It's like, God damn. Like, like, bro, I'm not even fucking talking to you, dog. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you big bird-looking-ass bitch? God, like, bro, what is, ugh, shut up. Like, she just, oh, just cut, like, she's the type of person nobody would like, bro. She's the type of person, it's like, why? So, like, if it was okay to hit women, she'd be the first one that I hit. You know what I mean? It's sort of like, I'll say it like this. Black lives matter, but shit, hers doesn't, okay? Like, if I was to see on the news, ah, uh, uh, this big six-foot woman named Candace got shot by the police, I'd be like, hey, shit, I understand, you know, like, and it was a picture of her, I'd be like, I mean, I get it, you know, I I might break out in applause, like that fucking, what is that, what is it, the Leonardo DiCaprio meme, where he stands up, he's like, <laughs> I might start doing that, be like, shit, somebody did it finally, damn, yes, you know what I mean, <laughs> look at that, NRA about to watch this video, be like, we do not let him get his gun license, <laughs> no, nah, they'll still let me get my gun license, but, uh, yeah, no, so, um, Candace saying shit, I gotta tell Candace shut the fuck up. So then the the, the boss Devonte didn't. He's like Candace. I need you to be quiet. Jordan, can you watch your language, please? It's it's hard for me, but you know I'm like, you know, I don't even know what I said. You know, I, at that moment I was just like kind of like, man, fuck all y'all. You know what I mean? Because I'm saying everything I gotta say. Everybody being quiet. You know what I mean? Everybody being quiet. Even Antoine, motherfuckers ain't speaking up. And April's doing this thing where she's so. I, I hate manipulative people, bro. You're the fucking boss. You're the manager. There, this is a. Now I'm putting shit on blast. I'm called. I'm causing. Conf I'm not confrontational usually, but when it's time, you know, if I get tired of shit and I, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever, fuck it, confrontation time. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a. You know, so I'm bringing confrontation. They obviously don't want that, so they're gonna choose the. It's either we be on Jordan's side and we choose confrontation, and now April doesn't like us, or. My boss likes me. I don't have issues with her. And I'm going to stick. So naturally, nobody's going to speak up and say anything, even if they did have issues. And it shows because Antoine, bro, if I could show y'all the text message, I wouldn't do that. But if I could show y'all the text messages of how he felt about her, he feels the exact same way. He might hate her more than me. But he wasn't saying shit. And I know Janessa had a similar problem that I had because I asked her and Janessa said yes. So it's like, I know these people have issues. They just not saying shit. And that shit like, all right, bro. So what April start doing, she start going and she start asking everyone else to try to make me look like I'm crazy. Right. So, Janessa, don't I do this, 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 this. Mykeela, 
when I do that, don't I do this? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Antoine, Antoine, the one who has the biggest issues with her, don't I do this? Antoine, like, yeah, you want? I'm like, oh my fucking God, bro. Y'all some wimps. Y'all some motherfucking wimps. Bro, speak up for yourself. Get some fucking backbone, G. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? He's like, and at that point, I'm just like, all right, this ain't, like, there, this was a horrible format. To me, the the way it's looking to me and what I'm being told from this is nothing's going to be done about the way that I feel. Jordan's wrong. You're not going to change anything because, April, you're over here trying to justify your reasons by trying to put people on the spot and asking them questions, you know? So, I'm like, I'm, I'm tuning everything out. I'm not even trying to listen anymore. And I, I was like, after all that, I tried to just... I, I got Devontae, and I told him, all right, like, I pulled him off to the side. We went to the back of the store, and I was like, look, man. I was like, I'm not going to be, like, I'm going to be real. None of this shit is resonating with me because the way it's seeming to me, it's like she's not really trying to change nothing, and she's trying to twist it so that I seem like the irrational employee that's just complaining and everybody, like, I'm crazy. And he's like, that is kind of how it is, but, it, like, that's not how you are, but that seems how it is, you know. And I'm like, look, man, she twisting it. Every, of course, nobody going to say nothing, bro. If I could tell you what An everything Antoine felt, you know how Antoine feel about her. Antoine said nothing. Nobody, every time she would ask people, they had issues. Nobody had an issue, including Antoine. And I know Janessa got issues too. And the thing is, if she's such a stickler for rules and everything, she literally instructed Mykela to break the labor laws. She instructed Mykela to bro break labor laws. The labor laws state, and it's literally on our wall. That's the only reason I know about it. And then you can go on Google too. Labor laws in Illinois, you are permitted at least a 20 minute break if you work five hours, but it has to happen within the fifth hour of you work. So if you work at 12, you got to get that break at five it has to be 20 minutes and yeah, no, that, that's it. <laughs> she instructed her with, this was the full eight hour shift. She had 20 minutes left. She told her to take a 30 minute break. I'm like, look, man, I could go and report that shit that she literally just, she's such a stickler for, for laws and shit for rules because I, I, I'm, I guess I broke the rules and I'm not supposed to uh, I'm not supposed to eat snacks or anything No, no, no I'm not supposed to buy snacks While I'm on the clock still Before I clock out for my break Which Come on, bro Like, people do that, dog You know? Like, people do that That's not the biggest thing in the world I'm not the only one that does that So She So I, I'm like, alright Well, she wanted to be such a stickler for that She literally broke told, Instructed someone to break labor laws in Illinois And that's something that, like That's federal level I'm sure you're not going to go to prison or anything, but you're a stickler for rules, but you're going to instruct someone to break a fucking federal law. You know, and I could easily go to HR about that and be like, yeah, there's a double standard clearly in what she's doing. You could check the cameras. You could check everything, you know, and if the cameras have audio, which I just figured out, you, you're going to hear my Keela say, yeah, she just told me to take my break and you could check the time on the cameras. So, yeah, but that's, I mean, I ain't going to say it. I'm not going to say it's just me. Nigga, that, that, that's what just happened today. I'm running out of time. Uh, yeah, peace. So here's someone's comments uh, from a previous video. He says, shit videos. Why did you leak my comments? You debunking you, bitch ass nigga. Um, and I found that really funny because I actually didn't delete the comments. And here they go right here. And basically in the first one, you can pause it and read it for yourself. But he's saying something about, and this is all I can read is just a preview. He's saying something about Tagashi drew the creation of Adam. And I guess he used it as symbolism. And he's saying that's not that good. I mean, if you don't like stuff like symbolism, that's on you. He's probably a simpleton, like I was talking about in the videos, that just likes action and punches and shit. That's cool. Um, and then he's insulting Gon by saying he's a boring main character and that has he has no emotions. But when he, he arm wrestled Nobunaga and he showed that emotion, or when he fought Genthru and he showed those emotions, I think he definitely has more than just one emotion, which is ha he's saying it's just happiness. But I mean, I guess so. <laughs> you know, I guess he just has one emotion throughout the whole story. Yeah. Um, and by the way, you're not triggering anyone. You just seem like a little kid. So, yeah. Peace out.